Right, let's try to assemble this case. Honk if you sold your own headers. So, this is the Pi 02 W. Uh, place the headers on after triple checking which way round they go. Now, carefully fold it over and time to charge it. Charge it, I mean, solder it. For this, I'm using a TS100. And some random solder from a cheap shop bin. Just wait for the iron to heat up. This is a silicon mat, so the rope burn. There we go. First, solder one pin. Make sure it's level. Flip it over. No problem soldering another pin. Double check it's secure. Go down and solder all the headers on. Bit too much flux on that. Need to shed a bit of dirt. Helps if you put glasses on. Dirty iron. Right. Double check they're all secure. Flip it over. Carefully solder. Second row. Really varying wildly. I think my battery might need charging because it's actually running off of a lipo.
squeaky clean. There's a couple of pins missed. Clean up the pins to make sure there's no spikes. Unplug the battery. Strangely, that's got very, very hot. Bumble with the packet to get all the screws and the heat sink out. One, two, three, four. Filmer for that side. Take the filmer for that side. Carefully lay that on there. piece lay it down there and then we need a screwdriver small enough okay let's see it is that small oh, hang on Just see it's a cross head.
use a machine metal case to all the threads are cut in. And obviously I've got the wrong screwdriver head on this thing. There we go. That's the case for the zero assembled. The slot there is for the camera connector. These two slots here are for additional modules which you can buy that plug in to the U sub ports. There's one that provides full size HDMI, HDMI and full size USB. And we have our headers available there. You can just clip the cover on like that. Excuse the grubby fingerprints. Or can pop the cover off. Take our display module. Carefully line it up. And that clips on like that. There we go. A miniature zero two base system with built in display. Next step is to set Raspberry Raspbian OS up and start using it. In order to install and configure the screen, we first need to set up a memory card. And on a Mac, that seemed to prove a bit of difficulty, as if I insert a card, wait a few seconds, we get his error. Get over that, click on ignore, close this down. We want disk utility. Click on generic storage medium, which is a 32 gig card. First, you have to disconnect the hard drive and the external drives because the adapter I'm using is very temperamental. Click on the drive, click on erase, and change format to MS DOS. Click on Erase. Click on Done. Exit Disk Utility. And open the latest copy of RPI Imager. Because I'm running on a, a Raspberry 2, a Raspberry Zero 2. We click on Pi OS, click on generic storage, click on right, go yes. Once that's done, click on continue, close that. You'll see that it hasn't turned up yet, so we can eject the memory card. Plug our backup drive back in. that right now that we've got the memory card burned we need to insert it into there next we connect up a HDMI saw on this it uses a tiny HDMI so I have to use an adapter And then I'm plugging it into a HDMI capture card. 
I'm using a wireless keyboard and mouse from Logitech. Then I plug power in lead and it's ready to power on. Now that the Raspberry Pi has booted, we can install the software. But before we can install software, we need to configure SSH. Too many S's. In order to remotely log in and set it. Because once we configure the monitor, start installing the software for the monitor, it will switch to this and break. So, first, Move the mouse for the for the host computer out of the way. Wake up the keyboard. Scroll down to preferences. Click on Raspberry Pi configuration. Compared to the four, the zero two is rather slow. Right. I click on interfaces. And make sure the SSH is enabled. And we go back to system. We can see the host name is set to Raspberry Pi. We'll leave it like that. Okay, I've set it to the default username and password because I'll only wipe the card once this video is done. Click on, click on OK. And go up here. Shut down. Click on reboot. Right, so after a lot of messing around, we are back in. Now we are in, we need to install some soft first line. The code for this is hard to find, but it just so happens that scroll down here to this number jumbo name here goes that one we have to type in this line here find a terminal wait for this to run
Now that's installed, we have to write, type in another line of code, which is argonpod config, as it says there. So. We get here. Now next, because it's a fresh install, we have to install the frame buffer driver. Type in three, hit return. Yes. And it needs to install a load of software. Now it's done and then we need to reboot. So type in which seems to be the wrong command. No, it's not because I forgot to put in the space. There we go, it says it's connected. Shut down that input device because we don't need that one anymore. Switch back to the Kylo Pro. We can see. That we now have a screen on there. Unfortunately, it's upside down. So we need to come back into the terminal. Log back in. Reload the config. Now we want to hit one. Hit three. do reboot again looks like it might have died but it just takes ages to run and there we go we have a screen the right way up unfortunately the toolbar is a bit small so I haven't quite worked out how to change that yet but there we go you now have the argon pod display configured and running there is something else we can do. We can look back in. Go 
back into the config. Click on two. And we can configure button one as reboot. Button two as shutdown. Zero to apply changes. The screen flashes, and if we should, it really doesn't do anything, but we just now we're finished playing with it, we can just shut it down. See the terminals exited there. See the screen's finally flicking away. Apologies for the strobing, my camera's not very great. Recording screen. Close down the terminal. And unfortunately, because we shut down the Raspberry Pi, it hasn't received any signals to clear the screen. So we have to manually disconnect it. Like that. And there we go.